Okay, uh, we're behind the scenes of our short film Walk. This is the first video for Potassium Productions. That camera quality is looking spicy for an iPhone. Man, mm, it's good. So Walk is the story six years in the making. I originally wrote this my junior year in high school, and it was a video I wrote for a texting and driving PSA competition. So the story originally had a different meaning. It was more focused on death and the importance of safe driving than the walk and relationship itself. That was until I met Madison. Madison and I started shortly dating after the original script was made. I never got around to filming it, so over the years I tweaked it until it became what it is today. I wanted walk to be a very cinematic project. I wanted to focus on the music and the cinematography. I wanted the camera work and music to really tell the story. So that's why I waited so long. I wanted to make sure that I could do this project justice. Within the time Walk actually came out, I met a girl, dated her for six years, and then got married, which is really crazy when you think about it. This year, I decided to make Potassium Productions legit and to actually put effort out into my channel. So I recruited a couple of friends that I knew could make this work. Ryan, the cinematographer, and Josiah, the producer slash social media manager. I couldn't have made this film without the two of them. Hey, I'm Josiah Daniels, social media director for Potasnik Productions, as well as co-producer for the short film Walk. I help run the social media platforms, create imagery for our brand, as well as contribute to our creative decision making. Being able to help bring this film to life and see everybody's reactions was really exciting, and I'm super proud of the final product. Cammy, are you having fun? <laughs> Hey, Cammy's having a blast. Yeah, Cammy is having a look at that. I'm Ryan Simpson. I'm the cinematographer for Potassium Productions and Walk. I bought my camera about two years ago, and it was mainly for photography. I've always thought about doing video, but one day Caden asked me if I'd want to help him film some TikToks with it. And I was sure. I wanted to see the quality go up and everything, and we went and filmed. It was really fun. So... When tax season came around, I got my tax return. I was looking at gimbals, and I eventually found one from Manfrotto. It's not sponsored, but it's a really good gimbal. So yeah, I bought my gimbal. I was I had ideas for videos that I want to do in the future for myself, but I figured, you know, if we're wanting to make our production go up and everything and eventually do YouTube... This would be a good investment for me, and I can bring it along, and we can film, and we used it on nearly 99% of the shots in walk. Like, the walking transitions, I was running around Caden with the gimbal and everything, having the camera in his face, up and down, every which way, and it was, it was fun. So, if you're an aspiring filmmaker, or photographer, anything like that, I would tell you to just do it if you have the means don't spend money that you don't have but if you do have the means or you can just find a way to get a camera and you want to get into photography videography cinematography do it. it it's very fun it can be stressful at times but when you get the hang of it it's so fun and you won't ever forget it so the three of us discussed how we were going to approach this project and made a plan. We got permission to use the cemetery and begin filming. We just picked the worst time, Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, it's yeah, gone. Frodo needs a sponsor. So all, all we're doing is we're just walking, kind of like the title suggests. How's my hair look? Does it look better today? It does. It looks better. Yeah, so anyway, we're just walking on the cemetery. Everyone on their mothers being there because we decided to shoot this cemetery film on Memorial Shoot, Day. Shoot, bro, your face is bright. Okay. <laughs> we did have permission, but Memorial Day is the day we choose to, to film a cemetery short film. It's Timing. a great, great day. <laughs> Timing's off. It took us two days to film the first version of Walk. When we started editing the film, the direction just didn't feel right. Um, the cemetery scene came off really sad. And uh, the first day, by the way, when we went to film, we had people mowing the cemetery. It was a total nightmare. So we used another day to film. Well, when it was said and done, uh, Ryan and Josiah kind of pulled me aside and said, hey, let's refilm the entire video. And I said, what? 
I was really frustrated. I felt like we had some great footage and I didn't want to, but with their persistence, we refilmed the entire video and I'm glad we did. We did a little changing to the script to make the ending more hopeful, and I'm glad we did that. There is a version of this film out there with a much darker ending. A version the world will never see, and that's okay because I'm very happy with the final cut of this film. There are some shots that came out perfectly like I had in my head when I was writing this six years ago. And I couldn't have done it without Josiah and Ryan, so thank you guys for being on my crew. And for those watching, this ain't it. We have a lot more in store for you guys. So if you enjoyed this film in the slightest, stick around. This is only a tease for what's to come.